Hello everyone, my name is Ank Marander. If you don't know me, just watch some live streams below. I do not make a, an update video very often. I think the last one was about eight years ago. Uh, but I fell off, I guess, in February. And quite some stuff happened, so I wanted to explain. When I was still uh, streaming, uh, people could actually see that I was quite complaining a lot, I guess, uh, near the end of the streams. I could feel my heartbeat pounding in my throat uh, quite a few times a day, actually. And I didn't know what, what, what was going on, but it was definitely that there was something going on. Uh, until one day, uh, uh, early in the morning, I, I couldn't get up. I had to call my mother, and I, I, I never complain about pain. I have enough pain already, but it just wasn't working. So I had to uh, call my mother, which uh, was... 65 uh, by the way uh, and I uh, sh she had to come around and just check up on me because I couldn't get out of bed uh, the problem was I had this insane amount of pain around my chest uh, oh, I'm actually trying to <laughs> but it it, 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 it it felt like my stomach was, uh, was, was, was bursting something like that and uh, I managed to get myself up we went to the doctor uh, she said it, it probably stomach ulcers because I am using medication, uh, anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's called diclofenac or something. I don't know how to uh, how to pronounce it, uh, to be honest. So uh, I, I got some medication against that, against the ulcers, and I was sent home. So the doctor said uh, it could take a few days before the medication would take effect. So I had to stop with my pain medication uh, with the anti-inflammatory attribute. And that was a big mistake. Um, so please don't be like me and spend another five days in bed just focusing on breathing and nothing else anymore. And I couldn't do anything else uh, until the Monday. I even refused to even drink because every time I try to move even move from one side to another uh, or just trying to sit up straight or something it felt like an aquarium inside myself uh just pushing over some it's it's hard to explain it's so much fluid was inside my body just moving around inside my intestines inside my stomach inside everywhere uh, so I was, I, I, I had the feeling was, I was a bucket overflowing. Well, not a bucket, like an aquarium. It was so much. And uh, so my mother called the doctor. Uh, they called an ambulance. Uh, so I got that experience for the first time in my life. And um, uh, was admitted to the hospital. Uh, which, of course, there they pump you full of morphine, which wasn't helping. Uh, because my body, even though I wasn't panicking, but my body was in survival mode. And even the morphine wouldn't help. So they thought it was necessary to put me on ketamine. So now in the ER, I am tripping balls. And uh, I found out later uh, that my appendix burst. But it's chronic. So already fecal matter is outside of my intestines leaking inside my body and capsuled and everything but now the infection in my abdomen is so widespread that they are not even allowed to operate anymore uh, so hence i had to be admitted to the hospital for five nights uh, intravenously i i i had like so much antibiotics and stuff until uh, my intestines would start up again because my intestines just quit and after that, actually, was working after the fourth or fifth night, I think. It just sent me home, like, yeah, good luck, have fun. So I have been in bed most of the time, trying to play some games uh, on a Steam Deck. I bought a Steam Deck because I couldn't do anything. And uh, that has been the past few months. Uh, I got the operation, so I had to wait about 10 to 12 weeks. And then it got delayed by two more, I think, or one and a half. Um, and that was um, about, uh, it's, it's less than two weeks ago I had the operation. 
and I feel so much better now. It's it, uh, it's such a relief. Something that was clearly wrong is now gone, and that's why I'm also starting up uh, the live stream. And pro tip to everyone: <laughs> don't be like me. Go to the ER much sooner than me, uh, because even though tripping balls on on ketamine would be fun without the pain. Uh, yeah, this is not something you want to endure. It's absolutely one of the most horrible things I had to uh, endure in my life. So, yeah. Guess I'm getting more healthy again. So expect a lot more streams. Bought a new PC. The quality is getting better and better. And I'm very happy about it. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun.